Okay guys, this is a demonstration of a, another company's system. It is a height only system fitted to this vehicle. It's been calibrated and set to their finest accuracy setting. We've hooked up our pressure only system, our level ride system to it. And this is a demonstration of going between the saved height and the lifted height and then back down to the saved height again to show the difference in the pressures. After this, we'll then test the vehicle on slightly uneven ground and show you how it copes with it. So on our pressure only system at the moment, we're only demonstrating the pressure. The height sensors are not connected. So in the center of the screen, they won't change. Where only the pressures will change when we change the height of this vehicle. So we'll go to the lifted height. And then we'll come back down to, their saved height. Okay, so now that we've demonstrated the height only system in this vehicle, and we've shown that on a laser level ground, which this platform is what I use for testing all our vehicles, it's accurate to a 16th of an inch. So going up and going down, you can see that this height only system on a flat ground actually gets close to the pressures that were saved. So what we're going to test now is if you're on slightly uneven ground, so you're in a car park at a car show, you raise your vehicle up, the first thing you do is you turn your wheel. So if you're on slightly uneven ground, and you're trying to achieve your saved height, this is what will happen. And this is what we're trying to demonstrate and show you what the difference is between a system that only measures height and a system that measures height and pressure to prevent this type of thing from happening. We drove the vehicle up onto this two inch block to demonstrate a typical car park. We're going to attempt now to re-level it. What we're trying to demonstrate that this is in real world situation that we're actually on a car park or we're sitting in the traffic lights or we're sitting somewhere where the suspension is being monitored all the time. So it's looking for the corner weight or the horizon where it was originally calibrated. And having a height only system is where you will get yourself confused. And that's why we've pushed to do a height and pressure system to eliminate this. So we're gonna bring the system back to now what it thinks is ride height number two. And you can see that the cross difference now is that one, high, one pressure is still high and it's still trying to make an adjustment and you can see that the back is actually way out in your pressure. And it's still hunting, it's still trying to find where it needs to go, but it's not actually able to level the vehicle. And it's still going. So where we started off before, we're now nearly 40 PSI high on one side and we're cross-jacked now by almost 30 PSI in the front and it's still searching, trying to get there. We're achieved height easily before on flat ground. It's now in a state now where it's going backwards and forwards, consuming all your air, operating your valves all the time and it's not actually achieving what you need which is a safe and steady ride height. As we know, the world is not flat. This is typical of most situations where you'll park your car Level Ride has built-in terrain sensing to avoid this type of situation and it will stop making any adjustments before you get crush jacked. Therefore, when you go to drive off, you won't cut a tire on the fender and won't damage your vehicle.